Inventory cost flow assumptions. Inventory is accounted for at cost. It starts on our balance sheet as an asset, and then when it is sold, it becomes cost of goods sold, an expense on our income statement. There are four basic cost flow assumptions that can be used to determine cost of goods sold. Specific identification, last in, first out, first in, first out, and average cost. I'm going to take you through the calculations for the last three. Here we have some basic purchase data for a company. This is showing inventory purchases that were made during the year. Now remember, our formula for calculating cost of goods sold is beginning inventory plus purchases equals your cost of goods available for sale minus ending inventory equals cost of goods sold. So when we are looking at our data, our beginning inventory is our January 1 amounts. Then during the year, we made three purchases. So our total cost of goods available for sale for the year was 5,530. And our total units available for sale were 330 units. Now our problem tells us that ending inventory was 110 units. So if we had 330 units available for sale and 110 in ending inventory, then we know that we must have sold 220 units. Now the number of units doesn't change. What changes is the value we put on those number of units for our cost of goods sold. So let's look at our calculation under first in, first out. In first in, first out, you're assuming that the first items you purchased are the first ones to be sold. So we start with our January 1, then our March 15, and then our June 20 purchase of inventory. But we can't use all of the June 20 because that would be more than 220 units. So our cost of goods sold we need to separate out the June 20 to only include the 80 units to get us to our total of 220 units sold. When we take our 80 times the 1750 per unit cost, we can get a total cost of $1,400. And therefore, our total cost of goods sold under FIFO is 3560 The remaining units we purchased in June and all of our October purchase are then going to be included in our ending inventory and our ending inventory would have a balance of 1970 Now let's look at the calculation under last in first out. We still have the same 220 units sold and the same formula, but instead we're going to start with the most recent purchase because we're assuming that the last ones we purchased are the first ones to be sold. So to calculate our cost of goods sold, we would include all of our October 25 purchase, all of our June 20, and then again, we're only going to include part of the March 15th purchase. We can't include all 60 units because that would be more than 220 units sold. So to calculate our cost of goods sold, we need to take our October plus our June plus 30 units from March. That gets us our total of 220 units sold at a cost of 3,850. Our remaining March units and all of our January units then would be included in our ending inventory with a total cost of 1680 Now let's look at average cost. To calculate our average cost, we need to find a weighted average cost of our inventory purchases. So we're going to take our total units available for sale and our total cost of goods available for sale. When we divide that, we come up with a per unit cost of $16.76. We can then take our per unit cost, multiply that times the number of units sold, and determine that our cost of goods sold is $3,687. And we can take our 110 units in ending inventory times the average cost and figure out our ending inventory is $1,843. Depending on the method that is used, we have a different balance in our ending inventory and our cost of goods sold. My balance on my ending inventory changes my total assets on my balance sheet, and the amount in my cost of goods sold ultimately impacts net income. When we are in periods where prices are rising, when we have inflation, FIFO ends up with the highest total assets and the lowest cost of goods sold. I like this cartoon because it shows that just by changing our accounting method, we actually have an impact on net income. 
It's ultimately a management decision which method they choose to use.